for most people, moving to another country fills them with excitement and dreams about what's to come and meeting new people. But then, after a year of living abroad, you can count the amount of friends on one hand. Lisa, was that the thing what you were thinking when you started with food and chatter? Definitely. When I first arrived in Cape Town, it's quite clicky, so it's quite difficult to meet people. But then once you learn how to say hello in their language, everyone warms up a lot more. So how do you say hello? So depending on which language, in South Africa there's 11 official languages. I haven't learned all of them, but in Isikosa you say Kunjani, Kunjani and yeah. in Afrikaans you say Ugandit, and in general you can say How's it? Oh, okay. okay, we That's all great. know what food is, but what is a cheddar? The chatter is the sharing of story with each other. When you travel to a new country, a lot of the time sharing a meal together will bring back those memories, like you're having dinner with your friends and families, and that's when the chattering begins. Cool, and, and you are a chatter, I believe? Oh, definitely. And you Especially are... when I'm trying really strange South African food, I definitely want to share those stories with people. <laughs> so food and chatter is about bringing people together, am I correct? Yep, that's correct. And also pushing out of the comfort zone. And how we, can we find you? Because when you're traveling to a new country, obviously you have to try what is local and what they are actually eating as well. Otherwise, you can just stay at home. Okay, and when we come to Cape Town, how can we find you? When you're here, obviously you have my email, but otherwise go to our website, which is foodandchatter.co.za and I'm also on Twitter, so you can find me at bestcapetownsa. So just give me a shout when you're here and I'll show you around to try the really strange South African food. We will, definitely. Okay. Thank you for sharing.